Om Shanti and welcome back. We are doing the recording of 10th of September. And if you are going ahead with these blessings, you must be having a question as to what is this quantum field? What is this energy? What is How can we call God as an energy or a light or a source of power and everything? Well, if it is something which we need to experience, cannot be understood by just words. It cannot be a verbatim. It can only be an experience which you need to feel, you need to go through. And that is what Brahma Kumaris helps you go through. And in each blessing, we try to make you come closer to that reality, to make you feel and make you understand that, yes, time has come for you to practice this. Time has come for you to become soul conscious or energy conscious or vibration conscious or to think of yourself as a vibration, as an energy or a quantum field or an infinite source. Yes, I'm talking about infinite source, not a finite. Because if you think of yourself as a body, you are very finite. But if you think of yourself as an energy, you are infinite and there is no reason for you to be unhappy. No matter what. So God over here says in the same blessing, May you have the fortune of happiness and be carefree by constantly eating the nourishment of happiness and sharing it with others. Carefree. I don't care. This is the drama which has been shot multiple million billion infinite times I have been sitting over here in front of this camera infinite times and talking to you all this and it's nothing new for me I've done it in many 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 cycles on this earth in the same body I'm talking about not this body I'm talking about the energy which is within this body who's acting out this karma and sharing these words of wisdom given by the supreme infinite energy and I'm just a medium I'm not the one who's the source of this knowledge. So God over here says, the nourishment of Brahmin life, Brahmin life means somebody who understands the complete creation, who understands who each soul is, how each soul is performing, what are the what are the pure things in this world, what are the impure things in this world, and how to be connected with the purity of life. That's who a Brahmin is, who understands even the source, the energy. So God says over here, the nourishment of Brahmin life is happiness. Those who constantly eat the nourishment of happiness and share it with others have the fortune of happiness. See, happiness is not about owning something. Happiness is not about having billions and millions of dollars. It can provide you pleasure of the five senses, but it cannot give you happiness beyond the five senses. So happiness is something which is beyond the five senses. And that happiness beyond the five senses is a permanent one. And the one which is with the five senses is a very temporary one. You have something sweet and you have something sour, it's just temporary. You buy something, you're bored with it, it's just temporary. I hope I'm talking to people who have already gone through it, already understand it. Am I right? So God then says, those who constantly eat this nourishment of happiness and share it with others have the fortune of happiness. That means if you share happiness, you increase it. It constantly emerges from their hearts. No one else is as fortunate as I am. But see, you see, when you become infinite, when you understand the power of infinity, and you believe in yourself that you are an infinite being and you're connected to the infinite source, oh my, my, my. That's the time you understand that you can constantly be happy. That's the time you understand that you're fortunate, much more than the highest earner in this whole world, the billionaires and the millionaires, they are nothing in front of this infinite knowledge. So God then says, even if ocean waves come to drown you, you would not be worried because those who are yogyukt are always safe. That means you'll find a method to be protected and the supreme infinite energy will guide you. Therefore, it is at this time of the whole cycle that you experience a carefree life. You will also be carefree in the golden age, but you won't have this knowledge there. That means we'll take the signature, we'll take the habit of being carefree, but it has to be practiced now. It has to be practiced now because I am a carefree being. I understand that every choice which I make, I make it with the help of the infinite being and the infinite being is sending me again and again, again and again, those instances, those energies in physical costumes there to help me out. Even the five elements are there to help me out. And when I understand that I am in alignment with everything, I am in alignment with all the souls in the world, I am in an alignment with all the five elements and I am in an alignment with all the animal souls and all the insect souls, all the plants. What else do you need? And that alignment has to be created first. For that I need to be in alignment with myself. 
But if I have anger, greed, ego, jealousy, hatred and competition, comparison and all those negative traits within me, then I am neither in alignment with myself nor am I in alignment with anything or anyone in the world. Think about it. How do you want to spend your life, the rest of your life? If you want to learn more, do contact us. You can join Brahma Kumaris or you can contact me. With this, I'm Shanti.